All right, guys, uh, we're going to do the pit. So I did get some things cooked up. Not too much, just made a couple of Zest Deluxes, some mushroom crepes. Let me uh, organize this. I got two life shrooms, some boo sheets I had in my uh, storage, and then a power punch. I think that's all I'll we'll need. Uh, I had these stuff before, but I just decided to maybe me I'll use them in the pit. I also don't know if I'm going to be editing out this on YouTube because it's kind of boring. Oh, also, I'm going to kind of go with like Koi Camera strats. So I think I have. FP drain, and then uh, I do have two P down or P ups, D downs. So uh, I'll get FP back from the damage I do with Quake Hammer. Also, I have Hammerman on too, so I can't use jumps. Maybe I should take that off and equip Hammer or Multi Bounce too. I guess I might do that. Yeah, multi bounce. Get rid of Hammerman. This does give me extra damage, but well, I mean, if I wanted to get extra damage, I could have got an all or nothing. But that's in the Palace of Shadows, so I would have to wait a bit for that. I'll just try to go through these as fast as I could, as fast as I can. I think I can just hammer this guy. I wonder if that FP that I heal, it's gonna like slow down <laughs> the battles. Because I think it waits for that animation to finish. Which is a bit annoying. Also, for the amount of damage that I do, I'm not really getting that much FP back. This makes it pretty bad. Also, I probably should have Coops out, maybe. Because uh, Lyle Burt can do damage, but it costs a little bit of FP. How much is it with him? Because Power Shell is much cheaper, obviously. 6 FP. Still only 1 FP? That's crazy. I wonder why it does so little. Is it because... Can't be because I only need the 1 FP. It seems like a weird reason for it. Let me check uh, the badge real quick. FP drain. One FP, one attack. Oh, it's just one FP? Mm. And I think the quick hammer is one FP because I have some uh, flower savers on it. I thought FP drained, or maybe I'm thinking of 64, where it depends on the amount of damage that you do. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. So I guess like, multi-bounce or something like that? Or power bounce? Well, multi-bounce and power bounce would probably be great for FP drain, because they're multiple hits, right? Although Quake Hammer hits multiple enemies too, so why doesn't that get me more than 1 FP? Because it just counts as the one attack that I'm doing? I don't know. I could probably, uh, cancel the end this like that. That way it goes a little bit faster. Anything I can do to <laughs> help speed up these floors. Getting a mover would be great too. Because nothing new is going to happen until after floor 50 because we went to go get the strange sack.
Also, I really shouldn't care about the coins in the pit because... Oh, I don't have Merle. It's curse. Guess I forgot to re-up on that. Oh well. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long to uh, get through the pit. I'm expecting at least two hours. Because uh, I think in my hard mode run it took a while. Around two hours. Maybe three hours, but that's because... <laughs> I would have to keep healing a bunch of times, and so that really slowed down stuff. But since... Uh, sweet, I'm over. Since uh, this is much easier than that hard mode, I'm expecting to go... Uh, breeze down all the way down to bone tail obviously maybe like last 20 floors are a bit tough but i think i'll be fine i'll have to change uh my setup to be more defensive though this more offensive build is just for the uh, first few floors Hopefully we get, I get some level ups, that way I can increase my HP. I think uh, FP is fine. Yeah, 20 is, is manageable. I got tons of healing items, so <laughs> when I need them, I can just uh, use those things. Oh, apparently I might have been wrong about the super hammer. So let me uh, use flurry real quick. So apparently Super Hammer works, but you just need it to be fully charged. At least that's what I've heard. It is, okay. So I guess when I was doing that before in the pit, it wasn't fully charged, so... My bad about that false information. Just because I did it a bunch of times and it didn't work, but I guess... Because in the original game, that's not how it worked. If you're in the state of doing the Super Hammer swing, any of those hits would count to doing a first strike with Super Hammer or Ultra Hammer. But I guess it needs to be fully charged up. Oh, I should check what floor I'm on. I guess it's like 12 or 13? 14, that was close. I guess I could do multi-bounce. Still 1 FP, okay. So it doesn't matter multiple hits, it's just you only get the 1 FP. That's really bad. Because you can't get multiple FP drains, can you? I think I'm full on items, yep. You know what? I was trying to do a ultra jump first strike, but I guess I messed up. Oh, dang it. At least I have Flurry. She can finish it off. on I don't think I'm going to be changing out my uh, partner because uh, it's really just going to be Mario doing most of the stuff. I'll just be flurry for the most part here for right now. I might change it later but should be fine.
Do you quake hammer, right? Yeah. This is kind of the issue of redoing the uh, pit multiple times. Is uh, it's just boring. <laughs> At least the early floors, not really much going on. There was a um, I think I played it before the uh, Paper Mario 64 Dark Star. They had an iteration of a pit that I thought was pretty fun because after every ten floors where there was the uh, chest, uh, you would fight a boss to. Uh, get past to the next floor and uh, I always thought that was kind of fun but here they're not going to have any bosses that you have to fight besides the one at the end obviously I would like it if uh, you know if you beat the pit to a certain point you can just skip past to that certain point just because I think, like, having to do the pit takes a while. And if you've already gotten to that point already, why don't you just make it easier for the player? I guess some people would say, well, that's not as difficult because you're not doing it all at once. But I feel like games nowadays kind of make things easier for other players. Like, you don't want to be a hassle to the player kind of thing. Um, I'll just use this on him. That gives us fog. <laughs> That's interesting. But yeah, they've done, uh, oh, the fork. The fork finally shows its face. It's one of the few stage hazards that does more than one damage. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, just making the game easier in terms of, like, the pit, or have you made it to, like, 450? give you like a warp pipe that takes you to the floor 50 entrance that kind of thing that way it just saves players time because there's plenty of instances in this game where they've saved players time the new improved warp room uh the uh excess express letting you sleep uh so that you can get all the way back to roport or to Poshley hills or whatever And I still think, like, going through each 10 floors is still pretty difficult, depending on uh, what level you are in the game. Oh, I messed it up. I moved it a little bit too much. I could see some reasons against it because one, you're removing the difficulty of the pit being you have to traverse all 100 floors in one go. I definitely see that. But then it, it makes it so that people just don't do it, do it and they don't get to experience part of the game. Whereas if you make it more easier, uh, not easier, but more slightly more casual friendly, you get more people being experienced you get people to experience parts of the games that they might have never been able to see before because they were too daunted by just the trek of getting into the pit. I don't know. I, I think it'd be cool. I could see issues with it as well. Also, since I have two P up, D downs, does the defense drops calculate before or after damage dodge? So if like I guard something perfectly, do I still take the two damage because my 
Because I have to take two extra damage because of those badges? I don't know. <laughs> he laughs at me. Did he cause that? He might have caused that. That's interesting. Maybe he was completely unrelated. But it was interesting that he was laughing when I got hit. I can get some HP. I am in danger, so I could probably put some power rush on, I guess. I guess I can do that. At least I have some extra defense, or like it like halves defense or something like that with last stand. Maybe instead of Quake Hammer, I should have uh, Fire Drive because it attacks the booze, whereas Quake Hammer doesn't attack them. I was like, I'll swap out after this battle with it. Should I give her to multi bounds? I, th mm, I think I'll just keep it. All right, I'll get rid of multi bounds and. Uh, get rid of Power Plus, or er, Power Rush, my bad. There it is, okay. <laughs> that took a lot longer than I was expecting. Four beyond 22, okay. 78 more floors to go. Oh, I should have just hammered him. For this... So I got rid of multi-bounce, yeah. I guess I could tremor. And if I tremored, I could have just got rid of all of them at once. Okay, so it does cancel out. Well, I do have two defend pluses on, so maybe that cancels out the damage I lose. Okay. Um, so Mario will just hammer. And then Flurry will just... Oh, how come that doesn't attack me? One thing I've noticed is that stage hazards don't really affect you, or at least your side as much. It affects the opponent's side a lot more. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. Like, it's kind of cool. Like, it's a little buff to your character, and it's also a good incentive as you level up and your stage gets better, that it makes you stronger. Uh, maybe I should unequip last stand now that I'm not in danger. Yeah, whatever, it should be fine. Um, but I feel like it's kind of weird. Like, it, maybe it's that I'm just so used to the original game, but like, seeing Fog 
the majority of the time being on my side feels unfair to the other <laughs> to the enemies I don't know that's just how I kind of feel about this and also me not having to worry about uh, any of the stage hazards as well mostly the uh, nozzles because they can be dangerous on your side too but I really haven't had them activate on me they fall down on my side but they don't do anything Maybe I should get rid of FP Drain and just put a uh, Flower Finder, maybe? Like, if FP Drain was 1 DP, that would kind of make sense, but yeah, it's just not that good. This seems like a good floor to do a uh, fire drive on. I also could do Quake Hammer too. I think I might do Quake Hammer. Oh, it does 5 and max, huh? Alright. Did not do that. <laughs> you know, speaking of that fog only occurring on my side. I guess I could get rid of it if I wanted to do Gale Force, but I don't know why I'm ner I would want to nerf myself there. Okay, let me see if I can put on a Flower Finder. Get rid of Last Stand 2. Oh, FP Drain is 1 BP. Still bad. <laughs> because, like, if I can find multiple of these, maybe. Then that's still putting me minus 2 at attack. Isn't Flower Finder... It's 3 FP. There's something I can get rid of. Can you get rid of Quake Hammer? But there are certain fights where I want Quake Hammer. I'll get rid of damage dodge, I guess. I can be a little bit more risky on these earlier floors. Maybe I'll do, uh, I think I'll do Tremor here, just to get rid of everybody. I 
think I'll just mess up here because I just need to do five damage. One thing that'll be different about this uh, run through the pit than my last time that I did it, because in my hard mode, I had three unsimple fires on, and although that makes it difficult to do action commands, it gives you more uh, SP back from audiences. Although, to be honest, I don't think you're using unsimple fires to get SP back. <laughs> it's more just to make the game more difficult for yourself. Um, but yeah, I would get like SP back pretty decently, and it allowed me to use special moves a lot more in the in the pit. It was kind of fun, and also worrying about one wrong move could just end my <laughs> run in the pit. Unfortunately, it only did once. But getting through the pit <laughs> uh, twice is difficult. And it sucks too because I did uh, two practice runs and then I did the actual run when I recorded it. So having to go through the pit three times was not cool. And I'm going through it a fourth time, but on a different, you know, different way this time. I was a much higher level too, so. Well, I guess uh, fire drive isn't really going to help me here that much. Thankfully, I think Flurry is pretty good for this area. She can deal with the uh, spinies pretty well. For the buzzy beetles. <laughs> I don't know. Why. I don't know why I said spinies. Spinies, I think, are the things that Lakitus throw. I think we'll put on a quake hammer if it's. I forget if it's two. Oh, I do have it. Okay. One thing I would have liked in the pit is I, I don't hear any of it, but I would have liked the music to like progress and get more dynamic. Maybe like reflect some of the uh, chapters that you would see. It's like this would have like some chapter three music in it or something. I don't know. Maybe just me being a little too optimistic, I guess. Okay, I'll have Flurry attack the Buzzy Beetle. That'll knock it down, and then have Mario do Fire Drive. Oh, duh. That's right, they're immune to fire damage. That's fine. Flurry's a pretty good tank. Floor am I on? I'm not in the 40s, am I? 34, okay. Close to it. Okay, well, since the Buzzy Beetles don't take damage from 
uh, fire drive. I'm just going to hammer this guy normally. I tried to do super guard, but I messed up. Well, Mario's back in danger, at least. Oh, not anymore. Oh, apparently those things heal everybody too. So like if you had a partner that you wanted to keep in peril, it's a lot more difficult in this game. Whereas in the original game, you can just not have them in your party and then swap them out and they wouldn't get all that stuff. The same with leveling up too. Apparently when you level up, everybody heals to full. Interesting change. Funny because it, it makes it easier for people playing casually, but for people who are like are really into this game, that's like a huge nerf to that playstyle of playing in peril. Also, talking about playing in peril, I'm really surprised they kept like the whole power rush thing. I know it was in the original, but they probably should have took that out because it's just so overpowered <laughs> just buying power rushes from a uh, piano parlor. I think I'll just have her do a uh, lip lock. Save me a turn. Although it probably would have wasted its turn on using the power punch, but whatever. Mario have HP drain on it? No, I thought I had that item on me. Be good, because now I can heal back to full, but it's okay. One thing I do, I do realize now is it's very easy to first strike these enemies in the pit. They don't really notice you too quickly like they did in the original. I think I said I was gonna stop till I'm at level 60, or having 60 BP, but I might opt to, uh... Oh, I am at 60 BP. I'm done. Uh, well good, because <laughs> I want to level up HP now, because I'm pretty lacking, and for Bone Tail's fight, his fire breath does a lot. I remember it doing 12 when I last played it, but that's because I think it was one and a half boosted, so that's like eight damage or something like that. When having the calculation in mind. Okay, let's uh, jump on this guy and then Flurry can take out the Flower Fuzzy. I don't know if I, I noticed it, but the, the A-list has uh, green uh, curtains. Don't remember if... Uh, I would assume there's S-list, right? Maybe A-list is the best. What am I, I... I guess I can check what I am. I thought it was A-list. Yeah, I'm an A-list star. I forget if it goes up to S-list. You would think so, right? Because... They always have A rank and then S rank.
I kind of wish they had a FP drain P, because that'd be pretty nice for Flurry. So we're on floor 40, I believe. Yep, 40. 60 more floors. We're only about 36 minutes in, so that's pretty good. After 450, though, it's gonna go kind of slow because... Um... What can I do here? I could try Gale Force. Because they are flying enemies. Uh, it's gonna slow down one because the enemies are gonna be harder and two I need to tattle them so after floor 50 things will come a little bit to a, a little bit of a halt also I won't be as uh, damage focused as I am now focus on more of a defensive build Since I have those P down D ups, I probably don't want to be doing a fire drive on those Pokeball bombs. I'll be taking too much unnecessary damage. Maybe I should swap to Coops for this. I could do Earth Tremor. You know what, I'll do uh, Sweet Treat. I got plenty of uh, star power. We'll be getting that back pretty quickly. I think I will swap to Coops though. I'm gonna be running into more of those fire guys. Yeah, I don't like that. I have to fully charge up for that. Okay, this is where I would like to have quick change. Yeah, that's too much. Um, this appeal, I guess, to get that SP back. I guess if I wanted the SP, I could have swapped to uh, have Coop's appeal first, but I think it'll be okay. At least I can swap to uh, Flurry for this.
flower saver isn't doing all that much work. I'm only getting a couple every now and then. I think it's supposed to guarantee at least one shows up, though. Well, that didn't count as a first strike. That's lame. be kind of cool if you could use Miss Mouse the if you could use Miss Mouse's smooch ability outside of battle just to heal Mario that'd be kind of cool give her at least a little bit more utility plus that move isn't that great in battle I don't know why I don't do it, but I should have uh, Flurry at the front just because of all the HP that she has. It's probably better for her to be in the front. And she heals a lot of HP too, so just make her better to be in the front. I should probably do that. I think I'll use that uh, Super Shroom I got earlier though to heal Mario back to full. I do have a super uh, mini Mr. Mini that I can use in case I think the enemies are going to deal some damage to Mario. Um, maybe Bobbery. He does more damage to uh, fire enemies. This going to be a bit costly in terms of uh, FP, but... <laughs> Very costly. Probably would have been better with Coops. Oops. Well, now I know. Oh, I got HP drain. That's good. I was trying to do uh, <laughs> Gale on them, but I was pressing Y instead of X. Okay, let me be smart this time and do this. Close to 450. Don't know how close, but I know we're a little. A couple floors away. Oh, <laughs> we're right next to floor 50. <laughs> and boom, there we are. So I'm gonna reorganize my badges now. Uh, I think keeping Quake Hammer and Fire Drive is fine. 
Put damage dodge. Uh, let's do an HP plus, just to have that health. Uh, get rid of Flower Finder. Spike Shield. I think I don't remember too much of the layout of uh, enemies. Let's do that. Ooh, the music does change after floor 50. Does that mean the battle music does change too? Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I need Gumella. Maybe I should uh, put on Ice Mesh too, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, let me swap back to Gumbella. I'll do a uh, Fire Drive. That should get rid of at least the guy in the front. They should be close to uh, dying too. As long as they don't steal my stuff. Twelve HP, that's what I thought they had. dog down. Okay, he's outside. Oh, we gotta move her. Um... You know what? I'm actually gonna skip the mover. I wanted them earlier, but now I need to get as many level ups as I can before uh, fighting Bone Tail. So I did lose that on some levels. Plus, I also want to get Tattles, too. Also, the music is the same here. Uh, well, since it wouldn't kill them in uh, this turn, I'm just not going to use Fire Drive. Yeah, boo boos don't really seem to do all that much. They haven't even made themselves invisible. They can either spook you, which is an attack. They can uh, change their elevation or turn themselves invisible or other enemies invisible. This music is good. A little funky. Where's he gonna hit me from? Okay, that's the limit. Yeah, this interaction is way different from how they were in uh, 64. I think I need to do it again. Uh, Quake Hammer should be enough to get rid of him, I think. This was an easy fight. Oh, I thought there were going to be more enemies I needed to tattle. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, I don't know. Dizzy Dial? Yeah, no thanks. Oh, 
Oh, moon cleft. Those guys are pretty easy to deal with as long as you got Quake Hammer. Oh, I'm gonna get hit. Aw, oh, sweet. Ooh, 20 now. I guess it makes sense that the deeper we get into the, to the pit, the more money that we stand to gain from each fight. Maybe I should uh, swap out Kumbella. Swap out for Koops, I guess. And then we'll do a uh, fire drive. Now we can swap back to Mario and have him finish it off. Though I am getting low on it. FP, but that's fine. I could use a uh, sweet feast to get FP back if I need it. Or the multiple items I have to heal stuff with. Guess I'll use this choco cake. Oh, you know what? I should have brought some inky sauces. Oh, these guys. I don't know if they gave him a name now or not, but uh, they didn't have a name before. I think they were just called Bugs. I think they can inflict uh, confusion onto you. Just not a good status to have on you. I don't know what the chances that you could either attack your, your partner or just do a random action. And if it's a partner, it could swap them out. Which isn't too bad. Better than them attacking you or doing an action where it'd be bad to do. Like having Mario jump on a spiked enemy, something like that. I guess I could do a super hammer here. Assuming I don't mess it up. There we go. Close to level up. Gonna go into HP. And then I'll probably uh, do FP a bit too. Probably need to do another pause again to bring my dock back inside because it is pretty hot where I live and I don't want him to get like a heat stroke or something. He's very sensitive to heat. Even though he, he has short hair. Okay, I could just do a regular hammer. Maybe I can attack with Koops. Yeah, let's have Koops do Power Shell. And then finish it off with the Fire Drive. Could do Ultra Hammer too, but whatever. Well, next fight I can kind of go a little bit all out on like special moves. Because I'll just get my SP back anyways.
cool. Now we can triple dip if I wanted to. Uh, I'm gonna have Goombella out. It's probably gonna be a new enemy I haven't seen. I'm gonna guess a wizard. Oh, Dark Lucky 2. Or Lacka 2. Oh, <laughs> I was aiming the wrong way. Uh, I'll just have her tattle, and then maybe I can just uh, heart attack him to death. Or you know what? I can do that uh, a new special move I got. Or you just mash A or something. Supernova, that's it. It does 15 damage, I think, if you max it out. Yeah, that's enough. Also, I heard something about this not using all of your... Oh, yeah, I don't know what they're talking about. I remember somebody hear, hearing somebody say that uh, when you level up, if you have extra as star points, that you lose one. I don't really understand that. After this uh, floor, I think I gotta go get my dog back. I think it's <laughs> been enough time outside. It's I don't want to be outside, so I don't want him being out there for too long, too. Oh, that was close. I almost got hit by the bone. Fire drive is going to be really good for these guys because they, they'll be put down, but they won't go away unless they die to burn or a fire move. Yep. Next turn, they'll be gone. That won't work with fire drive, I don't think, because it's not a direct attack. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> I'll bring another fella. I guess Kumbella can attack him and then... Yeah, Mari can just finish it off. Now we're getting the, the star points. Okay, I'll be right back. Just to go pick up my dog. Okay, he is back inside and he's relaxing, drinking a lot of water. I don't blame him. Hot as hell outside. I'm actually hotter than hell, probably. <laughs> Ooh, I got a wizard. I think it's a dark wizard. Now, these guys are kind of scary, but uh, if you get burn on them, they're not as scary. Because uh, when they get, uh, when they're by themselves, they have this clone ability, similar to how the uh, Magikoopas do. But if they're burned, they'll, uh, all the clones will disappear, because he took, the one who set up the clone takes damage, and then they all disappear. And then they just waste their turn doing that over and over, usually. There are some times where I had some uh, wizards that just didn't do that. Because usually when they're by themselves, they almost always do that. Not all the time. No, I guess that's more experience for me, I guess.
Ooh, could get some FP. I suck at a bingo. Oh, <laughs> you know, I say that and then I get the bingo. That's good, because I think the next battle I probably would have done Sweet Feast or something. Oh, if, if only I had Merle. She'd be giving me boost, double XP, extra drops. Oh well. We don't need Merle. I don't know why I say we, I don't need Merle. Frost Piranha. Oh, that was <laughs> that was kind of a weird interaction there. Uh, what can I do with this fight? You could art attack. I don't think I. Oh, you know what? Uh, don't art attack because I do need to find out the uh, titles for the uh, dark spinies. We'll just head, uh, no, we already got the title for these guys. I think it would have been nice if they made the, uh, since they're called Dark Lucky 2s, it makes sense if they're, uh, clouds or, like, thunder clouds or something, or dark clouds. But, eh, whatever. Sky blue shiny. I thought they were gonna be dark lucky twos. I think she used to call them S blue spinies or something like that. No, <laughs> there's apparently space to put sky blue shiny or er, spiny. Do I have spike shield? I don't remember if I do. I guess I can try it. I think I did put it on. That's a lot of damage. That was a weird interaction there. <laughs> okay, let me have Mario spin jump on this guy. Okay, good. And then we'll have Goodbella just do Rally Wink so Mario can just jump on him. There's a point later on where you can just unequip the spike shield because there's not going to be any more after a while. I think it's after floor 80, maybe? What floor are we on anyways? 64. I think I hear my dog. I think he wants to come in here. <laughs> I'll just pause real quick to let him in. Now oh, he's relaxing on my bed now, <laughs> in front of a fan. I don't blame him. It's nice and cozy on that bed. Ooh, dark crawl. Three of them. I might need to uh, clock out. That way I don't have to worry about these guys. That or... Well, I don't know if I'll have enough to uh, art attack, so I'll definitely try to clock out. But let's have... Swap out Goombella for... Oops. Then we'll do clock out. Good. Well, since I can take my time here, let's go one at, at a time. And hopefully, by the time I kill all of them, or defeat all of them, it sounds a lot nicer than kill all of them, um, I'll have my SP back when I clock out. As long as these crazy daisies don't put themselves to sleep, Okay, 
think we're going to go back to full SP, so that's great. Uh, I think even though I'm not going to be able to hit the Lucky 2, I'm going to go for the uh, Fire Drive. Just have the burn on the Wizard. Well, I might kill him a Coop, so... Oh well. <laughs> Getting rid of the Wizard is at least good. Because those guys will tick you, tickle you with those hands of the, theirs. Can't do anything now. Uh, I guess I'll go for Sweet Tree to get some FP. So I can't do anything this turn, anyways. I guess I'll just have Koop's uh, appeal just to get SP back. Hopefully he'll change out of that form. Cool. Did they make chill out 1 FP or 1 BP? It'd be kind of nice if they changed that to 1 FP or BP <laughs> as well. That'd be kind of cool if like ice enemies took extra damage from burns as well. Uh, I think they just take the one extra damage from fire attacks, not the burns itself. That'd be pretty cool. Actually, it'd be the opposite of cool. It'd be hot for them. But yeah, getting first strikes is so good. Because these guys are like so dumb, they don't realize when I'm there. Um, you know what? Let's have Mario in front this time. No fear. Probably need to do um, sweet fees soon. So my FP is getting low again. 68. Almost there to floor 70. We'll get a new badge. Ooh, this is going to be a nice floor.
Oh no, I'm out of FP. Um. Do mini Mr. Mini on him, I guess. Now this shouldn't do anything to me. Oh, no, one damage is fine. Oh, it's a lot better than it could have been. Alright, well, thankfully with Sweet Cheese that should heal the uh, Frozen. Oh, there is two Poison Mushrooms. First time I did this, there was only one. Eh. Yeah, Sweet Feast still sucks, though. <laughs> five SP? It really should have just made it four. I'd say it would be okay with four, but like, five? Yeah, I don't think so. Wait, did Koops do seven damage there? Oh, yeah, I know why he did seven damage. Because I was thinking of the wizard before. But the wizard has like two defense or something like that. Forget what floor we get bump attack. I think it's like 80 or 90. Double dip P. Now we can triple dip with both Mario and the partner. Uh, swap to Goombella. Get those tats. Um. I forget if it's this group of floors where I need a zap tap. Oh, I'm surprised that hit. Uh, because of the uh, swoopers. Now one of them's got a boo sheet. I will swap to Gumbella. Unfortunately, the one with the boost sheet is alive and he's probably going to use it. Thankfully, I think I can use Curve Tremor on it if I want to get rid of it. I think I'll have a Goombilla appeal and then Mario will Curve Tremor. You know what? I'm probably going to level up this fight. So. I've just done art attack, I guess. Oops. Oh, I think that's enough to uh, get rid of these fellas. Next, I'll probably level up uh, FP. Because it's good if I have a balanced uh, HP and FP, only for the healing items I have. Well, the Zest Deluxe is not for the uh, <laughs> those, uh, Shroom Crepes, that's not going to be that good. I still have the uh, badge. What badges do I have? Still have Spike Shield, okay. But I can jump on this guy. Although I could Quick Hammer him as well. You know, I don't know why I'm not putting Mario in front because he has better defense. So 
I keep putting my partners out, they're probably gonna die faster than I am. Okay, for this, we'll just do a Quake Hammer. The next turn, they should be gone. I guess the good thing is that Goombella has a little bit more health than Mario. Oh, we got total stage fog. You know what I haven't been seeing too much of? Is that, um... The backgrounds. I haven't seen that stuff falling a lot. Because usually if you're using Quake Hammer, that's like almost guaranteed to happen, but now I don't really see it happening anymore. Yo, a mover! Which would normally be good, but... I'm good, but little buddy. You needed to be in the first 50 floors for me to care. Okay, now we need to swap over to Zap Tap. So I'll probably be alternating uh, Spike Shield and Zap Tap. Oh, I see. You use left and right on the D-pad to uh, scroll faster, I see. So with Zap Tap, these guys can't even hurt you at all. Good thing it didn't hit the right, the uh, wizard. As long as I go for Mario, it's fine. Yeah, I don't think you even need to guard it. Oh no, it's not going to do anything though. Hey, those guys wasted their turns, which is fine with me. I super guarded him. <laughs> Just wanted to see if I could. Will Goombella even be able to damage him? Okay, she will. Maybe I'll go for health first and then FP. Because I did say I want to balance it out, but I think having the HP early or, or for right now is fine. Ooh, that guy's got a shooting star. I think we, uh, Quake Hammer will just take these guys. We'll make the uh, two in the back topple over. And then it should take care of the chain shop as well. I used to think uh, Hammer didn't get a lot of recognition. It kind of doesn't if you go for like a Peril Strat because it doesn't really benefit Hammer all that much. But uh, Hammer, I think, has a lot more utility than jumping moves do because fire drive is just a really good move that pierces uh, it does more damage than base hammer so if you get it early like I did it's just <laughs> really good um, 
Quake Hammer is really good against the certain enemies. Just like cleans them. Good AoE. Uh, you got enemies of defense. It's much better to use hammers with. Uh, you got. Uh, you can confuse enemies. You can freeze enemies. Um. And then if you really want it to be like a jumping move, I guess you could use a hammer throw, but it's a little different. Okay, I can use a quake hammer and then have Gumbella use that shooting star that I got. Am I on? 76, okay. Uh, well, I'm almost at the one and a half mark. Or one hour and a half mark. So we're doing pretty good on time. A lot better than I was expecting. But the last 20 floors are going to be a bit tricky. So I have to be careful about that. But one thing probably is um, a Maisy Daisies, that's why I really need to get the uh, health above 20 HP, which I already do, but having a little bit extra would be better. Uh, for this... I can't even tell what that is. It's a coin, okay. Uh, I guess Goombella will attack, and the next turn Mario will do uh, Sweet Feast. Just for uh, FP. Although I do have an FP bingo, but I don't think anything good is going to happen from it. So if I get this bingo, I'm going to be upset. Uh, I'm upset. <laughs> I use all that SP for nothing. At least I can topple these guys over again. These guys are pushovers. They look scary. If they couldn't be toppled over, then they'd be scary. Or if they got up the same turn or something. See, that's why the... Uh, was it the the blue Koopas? Those guys are scary. Because they can actually do damage when they're toppled over. These guys? No, they didn't learn that lesson. I guess I'll appeal here just to get uh, some SP back. Before he unthaws or thaws out. <laughs> to unthaw would be to just get, I get frozen again, I guess. Another mover? Dude, you're wasting my floors. Although I could skip to floor 80. I need that experience.
Is this gonna be swoopers? Oh, okay, it's gonna be this layout again. Fortunately, I don't have any more shooting stars. I think I'll swap to a flurry. Also, if I don't guard it, they actually do damage to me. Flurry does enough damage to it. Uh, if I didn't mess it up, <laughs> I just had to adjust it a little bit. Well, that guy took his time sucking the HP. Now, don't mess up this time. It's much more sensitive than it is in the original game. Oh, well, floor 80. I think this is where you get bump attack. There's bump attack floor 90. That might be a floor 90 thing, because of how easy you can just clear the rest of the overwall. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm stupid. I think you get a lucky badge or something like that. What's up, Charlie 10? You must be pretty strong to be here. Yeah, I'm not buying her crap. <laughs> 900. You gotta be kidding me, Charlie. I even see how much he was selling a mushroom for. 47. You know, that's probably a better deal. Okay, uh, swap to Goombella for those tattles. Those juicy tattles. Is the music changed at all, or is it still the, the same after 450? I think it's still the same. Oh, I actually got first truck. Uh, so I need to swap to Goombella. She will tattle that guy. And then I can ground pound to make sure the Dark Bristle doesn't do stuff. And then after that, Fire Drive, I think. Nine damage? That's crazy. to swap out Goombella because if she takes damage again from both of those guys that might KO her. Yeah, let me uh, unfortunately swap her out. Swap out to Aubrey. He's tanky. There we go. Okay, now we just gotta deal with the Piranha Plant. Nice, he got forked. I guess you could say he got forked over. That was supposed to be like a award play of. I'm not going to explain this joke. It's stupid if I explain the joke. Okay. 
More HP, please. Uh, I don't remember if there's any other things I have to look for. Oh, the Arantulas, I guess. Do I chill out? I do not want to get hit by this guy. Um... It is 1 BP. Maybe I can super guard it. There we go. Nothing to worry about. Now I can have Mario in the front and be less worried. Nice. Get bucketed. Um, let's swap to Coops. So even though the uh, bristles are flipped over, don't hammer them because they will still they're still side spiky and they will kind of attack. Here's those arantulas. These guys can be kind of scary. Did I charge that up all the way? I did. Okay. Uh, well, they're unaffected by... I'm just gonna do this, that way this guy is, uh... I think he's gone. Oh no, he's flipped over, at least. Uh, maybe he'd go... Ooh, got confused. That could be funny, he could probably, uh... Kill the bristle. I would love to see that. Are you gonna kill the bristle? No. Six damage for one of those things. I know that's the stronger version of it, but still. Okay, we'll have her tell the Arantula, and then I'll get rid of the, uh... I guess we tackle the uh, Arantula, because the Bristle's just gonna waste his turn getting back up anyways. Plus, these things are tanky. 16 health. Thankfully, they don't have any defense. I think a Spring Jump might get rid of these guys. Sixteen damage, exactly. Quake Hammer. I need to swap out I don't need her right now. I mean, I guess I could run away. Oh, I did the wrong move. Um. Yeah, let's just bring out Coops.
I'll have Curbs just do Shell Toss, because that guy's gonna die to the, uh, burn. And I wanna see if I can get this Mushroom Bingo. Ah, oh, dang it. Aw, oh, man, I was hoping the Fog would actually put in some work there. Well, I am kinda low on FP. Maybe next battle I might use, a uh, Shroom Crepe. Now I didn't get first strike by that guy. Okay, for this one, I think I'll just art attack. This just seems like an annoying fight. Yeah, just art attack this. I guess I could power lift and not have to worry too much about it, but it's alright. Okay, there we go. Um, eighty five? Okay. I don't think I need Goombella for any of the other enemies, because I think I got them all. Uh, I will swap to Koops here, because he has more health. I'll go for the Shell Slam, that way I can do the piercing on the pistol. Now I think Quake will, uh... Okay, that'll just take him down. Uh, maybe... I was gonna say have Mario do Sweet Feast, but we're a little bit low. Okay, I guess this, uh... Maybe next battle I'll do Sweet Feast, although I'll probably level up next battle. So try to go for an Art Attack next fight. So we're just gonna get that level up anyways. Or maybe a... Uh, Showstopper or Supernova? One of those two. The one that uh, you mash A. I don't know, I think they're more resistant to Super Showstopper. Yeah, that's what I can do. That way to avoid first strikes from these guys. I do have enough for Shell Slime. I'll just do this. The Mario can just hammer. What level am I? Level 26. We can pick up a couple more levels. I don't... Hopefully two more. Uh, What did I level up? Did I level up HP or FP? I did level up FP, okay. I want to see if I can get that... Ah, uh... oh, dang it. It's too slow to uh, do the... Uh, ultra Jump first strike. Oh, that attacks everybody on their side. Oh, look, it finally fell. Been a long time since that's happened. Uh, I'll just go for this. That guy will die coming out of the ice. That guy 
I guess I'll just take down next turn. I'm gonna be pretty over level for uh, <laughs> chapter 8, but I guess that's fine. Usually I like to do the pit thematically and just for like a playthrough after the main story, but I feel like I want to get all the badges before I do chapter 8, or all the badges I can before chapter 8, because there are some in uh, chapter 8 that I need to get. I should probably just done our attack. Oh well. Um So I'll at least get rid of the guy in front. I was trying to go for super guards. That's gonna get me killed. Okay, I'll go for Sweet Feast here just to heal back up. Oh man, well, at least there's all the poison troops are gone. Close to the 90s. Oh, yeah, we are. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm trying to think of the enemies here. Uh, Amazing Daisies are ones we have to be careful about. What are your prices now? Are they passed a thousand? Oh no, they uh, cap at 900. That's interesting. If you want to buy. <laughs> Really expensive jam and jellies. They're here for you. Ooh, elite wizards. We need a uh, Goombella. Thankfully, I don't think these guys can first strike you. Unless that's been added. Uh, I think we have zapped that pond. That way, those uh, swamp fires won't do stuff to me. Uh, I'll go fire drive. That way, we can at least get rid of the first wizard. Hopefully, no. Okay. Twelve HP. Okay. But eight attack. Wow. Its weakness is burning it, Goombella. Okay. Oh no. They're attacking the wrong one. Well, I don't want to deal with these wizards, so I'm just going to... Or tremor here. Okay, that's just all I need, so. Tattle that swamp fire. 
I am pretty low on SP, but I think that's fine. I'll get it back eventually. Actually, I could probably just appeal and get it all back in this fight. Just gotta make sure that Goombella doesn't take too much damage. Eh, I'd rather not this this uh playthrough not get too long. Poison puffs. These guys can be some trouble. Oh, it's this loadout. <laughs> um. Okay, I think this is where I do art attack. <gasps> if I could do it. Mm. I think we can uh get rid of this guy. Bella can finish it off. Oh, my punies! Okay, um. Uh, it's just Rallowink. There we go. Get tons of XP from this. That'd be kind of cool if it made me immune to electric attacks while I have Zap Tap on, but <laughs> that'd be kind of <laughs> yeah, that'd be kind of like cool interaction. So I think Mario can attack electrified enemies when he has it. But if I remember correctly, Poison Puffs have, like, a lot of HP. Like, 20 HP? Or maybe I'm thinking of something else. Maybe they have as much as, uh, Tarantulas. Oh, 15 HP. <laughs> 20 HP. Let's just go for uh, this guy then. Uh, get Goombella out of here. I don't want her dying and making me use up uh, a live shroom. Come on, fog. Oh. Yeah, it worked for me at least. <laughs> Crazy daisies. No. Gosh dang it. Okay, Mario will jump on him because Bobbery won't be able to damage him otherwise. Wait, will I get rid of Fog on my side? Doesn't look like it. I think I have to appeal for it to get rid of it. Bobbery can attack him still, right? Because he's not doing contact damage. Look at all that XP. There's only one person in my audience that's awake. Well, if I got this much FP now, maybe I might get rid of Flower Saver. That way it'll let me do other stuff. Probably do that. So 
So put quick change on. Wait, I haven't seen the fire guys. They have green fire guys. Did I skip them? Oh, chill out. That's what I wanted. I don't want to get first striked. Where are they on this floor? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, there's bulky bubble bombs here, so maybe they're on this floor. I do have a quick change now, so. I don't have to worry about swapping out to Goombella. I'm not gonna blow them up though. One, because apparently you lose XP on it. And two, this is gonna be a lot of damage. Because I can just do Quake Hammer to kill them. Maybe I'll swap out to, uh, Koops. Yeah, I think I'll swap out to Koops. Starting a fight, or starting this fight with somebody wanting to throw a rock at me, that's not good. Um, I kind of want to do power lift. Definitely need to swap out coops, though. Actually, let me get a uh, Lyopert. Then I'll power lift, and then uh, maybe that'll be enough. That wasn't that great. I was hoping to get four or four, or at least four in the attack. So I was pretty slow then. I don't think this is gonna kill, but uh, get him close. Next turn we'll get the kill. Even if they suck up HP. Hopefully they all target Mario. Mario will appeal. Amazing. 40 at SP. Another level up. If we fight another Amazing Daisy, I think that'll be another level up as well.
Maybe they got rid of that enemy. That'd be surprising if they got rid of the green fireball. I forget the name of them. Like, I do remember they're like a green fire enemy. Just a recoloring of the uh, embers that we've seen before. Pretty sure they show up on the lower floors, like 70 or 60. Yeah, they were supposed to show up with the poison pokies, I think. Or no. I think, yeah, floor 70, they might show up there. Um, go for fire drive and then stampede. Actually, let's go for gulp here. This is all the defense that this guy has. If I uh, throw a mini egg on this guy, does that reduce the attack of the poison, or is it always 10 damage? I guess we'll find out. Looked like it was reduced there a little bit, so I guess Shrimp did something. I should be checking the floor every time because I don't want to accidentally go into floor 100 by mistake. So I want to orient my badges properly before I go into that fight. Make sure I'm topped up too. Ooh, the other Maisie Daisy. Nice, we got the bingo. It's a good amount of health we gained. Um, let's go for Stampede. That was about 9 damage, I think. Why did Mario take more poison? Was I already poisoned? needed to use any of the items I brought with me yet, just yet. I'll probably need to save them for Bone Tail. I 
think I might use a uh, power lift here. Probably could just use art attack actually. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, so we got 4-4. Four, four. I think I'll actually use one of those items. Probably use a shrimp crepe. Or mushroom crepe. didn't finish off this guy. That's right, because he has tons of defense. Completely forgot. <laughs> I was hope this does it. Great. I could be a level up? Oh no, it's not 20. <laughs> oh, gotta remember to check the uh, floor. Ninety-seven. Okay. Two more actual floors, and then we fight Bone Tail. Oh, got the first strike this time. I think I'll try going for Art Attack, and then I'll go for Stampede, since I'm gonna level up anyways. I guess I could also do, uh, Supernova, but, eh, I like doing Art Attack. Oh yeah, I don't even need to do the Stampede. This is the last floor. Yeah, these guys do not notice you at all. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what a floor to end on. I think I'll need to switch to Coops for this. Could do Vivian, because her attack pierces too. So I'll go for Art Attack, and then, um... Yeah, I think I'll swap to Vivian. Just because I haven't used her a lot. I was so close to getting that S-less. Oh well. Let's see. I know statuses aren't going to work on Bone Tail. Uh, I mean, Burn does, but that's it. Uh, we don't need to worry about Chill Out. We don't need to worry about Quake. Keep the damage dodges on for Mario. Our drive is fine. Give it a Zap Tap. 
Okay. Uh, I have a feeling fine for Mario because his poison, his different breaths can uh, deal statuses, and I don't want to deal with that. Two more. Uh, last stand. And let's have a uh, Mega Rush P in case I get a partner in peril. Start with a Goombella. She gonna call him a freak again? Remember, that's what she calls them in the original. I'll be right back. I think somebody called me. Okay, I'm back. Uh, did he inflict something onto Goombella? <laughs> Why is she dizzy like that? <laughs> she still calls him a freak. <laughs> this music is great. As expected for a f the, s the secret boss of the game. Okay, let's start off with the title then. What? They changed Bone Tail to be a girl? That's interesting. <laughs> Does that mean uh, Gloom Tail is going to be a girl too? I just want to title check again. She's the older sister of Hulk Tail. Was that meant to be a typo in the original? That it was a guy? It thought to be a guy? Because I don't mind the original, or I don't mind the dragons all being girls. It's just, I thought Hooktail was the only girl. Okay. <laughs> this music. Start with, um. Who don't know I use that much? Let's go for Bobbery. I don't use them all that much. We'll go for, uh,. Power left. Can go for Lylebert, but I use him a lot, so. Oh, so close to 4-4. Four, four. I wonder if I'll be able to guard his, or uh, her, my bad, her, uh, quick bite attack. Oh, look at all this. The hazards are, like, attacking me now. How apt for the, a boss fight. Oh, I can hear the old, uh, theme. That's cool. She's got a burn on her poor little toe there. Oh, <laughs> still not used to that attack. Do a breath. Oh, nope. That attack is so fast for me to <laughs> react to sometimes. Let's go for some bomb squad. Oh, 
I'll give uh, Bobbery one more turn because he's kind of low on HP. Oh no, I missed. Yeah, I gotta swap him out. Man, I guard those a little too early. Oh, only does one damage? Oh, because he's got defense, that's right. Or she's got defense. Alright, I'm just so used to Bone Tail always being a, a guy. Okay, uh, let's go for Mouse then. Uh, maybe Mario's low on health later. Let's swap Mario to the front then. Thankfully, Mario's not unaffected. Uh, should I do a sweet treat to make sure Mouse doesn't hit me? I guess I will. It always gets me. Attack Bone Tail. Ah. Oh. oh no. I think Blade didn't flip confusion. Oh, that's health. I'll take that. I'm sure it was more of a substantial heal, but whatever. Have that much of a great audience. I kind of wish there was like more toads or something. Um, let's go for regular hammer here. I think she does three of those heals. Gonna go for the bite. I oh, know for the breath. Oh, I'm bad at that timing. I guess I'll swap out Mouse now. Let's go for Vivian. Try Spring Jump, I guess. Oh, that, that felt a little awkward. I wonder if Vivian knows about Ponytail, if she knew about the Shadow Queen. Because they used to work for her, right? Oh, Mario's low on health. I just noticed that. <laughs> well. Let's use this deluxe. At least I can have her just doing the burn damage on Bonto. 
Should have came with like a power smash instead. You know what? I could probably go for the uh, clock out. Or er, power left, I mean. My bad. Ooh, that fire breath looks cool. It's possible to get five if you focus more on one. Okay. Have a Vivian heal me. Actually, swap out Vivian for the time being. Guess we'll have Lylebert out. He'll heal me. Give him some spicy pasta. Second heal. I want to see if I can go for a spring jump this time. There we go. I don't. It's probably not gonna do much damage. <laughs> Looks kind of funny. I like how it like zooms out too. Oh, the power lift here. Yeah. You know what? I completely forgot. I have a power punch that I wanted to use. I'll use it next turn. Ah, oh, I thought I was ready for that one too. I haven't even used these boo sheets. I thought Bone Tail would be a little bit more scary. Let's go for Stampede. I forget if this... Yeah, this should be effective if Yoshi's buffed up. Yeah, let's go! Yoshi Stampede. I would have liked that the Yoshis were bigger too. Oh, <laughs> nine, nine coins? Seriously? <laughs> Awesome. Uh, what does Gumbella say here? used to protect this room. Ah, 
Oh, you can really get up in uh, <laughs> Bone Tail. Return postage. Yep. All right, then. Well, that's pretty good. I really like the music, though. Okay, I think that's going to be it for this. I think uh, next time I'll... What's he doing out here? Oh my god! That is cool! But why would I want to go back? Is there something in here? Ooh. Is there something I should be going back for? <laughs> um, I'll tr I'll check that next time. That's interesting. Okay. Well, see you guys later.